Hey guys, James from LiveView here. Just wanted to give you a quick tour of my current at-home control room setup that we're using to produce our LiveView show completely remotely. And it all starts down here. So down here we have a LiveView quad server, a LiveView video return server, and also a Scarlet audio interface. The quad server allows us to receive four inputs from any LiveView encoder out in the field, whether that's the LiveView smart app, the LU300, the LU600, any of those could feed back into this server, which then feeds into my switcher. Right above the LiveView quad server, we have the LiveView video return server, which does exactly what it says it does, video return. So if you're out in the field using the 600 and you're feeding your feed back to me, you can now see the program out of my switcher so you can see when you're live on screen or what's coming up next. And right above the video return server, we have the Scarlet audio interface, which allows us to do things like IFB. Now IFB is important for this because we're producing the whole thing remotely. So it's good to be in constant communication with your talent or host or whoever's on the other end. Now moving up to the top of the table here, I have a Blackmagic ATEM switcher. It's a very basic switcher that allows me to do things like still images, lower thirds, picture in picture, things like that. Coming into the switcher are the four SDI inputs from the quad server down below, which allows me to see all four video feeds in the multi-view here. So for me to bring remote guests onto the show, it's super easy to do right through LU Central. I'll show you. So in my LiveView Central account, there's many ways to get new units into my inventory that I can use for the show. One being our new guest interview feature for the LiveView Smart App. To set that up, simply click on the guest interview button up top here. I can name my device. So in this case, I'll use my phone. You can choose the registration period, which is how long the link will be active for them. And you can choose the resolution. So in my case, 1080i 60. Next, you can send them the registration code via email or text message. So in this case, I'll just use my cell phone number here and click on send SMS. So I just got the text from the guest interview feature. I'm going to click on the link here. And since I already have the smart app installed, it's gonna open directly on the camera. Now, back in Central, I'll be able to click on the device, set what channel I wanna live stream to. So in my case, LiveView Studio One here. You can set the delay and start your stream. And I have my phone set right here. You can see it connects and just like that, my feed is appearing in my switcher. And lastly, the program out of the Blackmagic switcher is feeding into our LiveView Solo here, which has two cellular modems and an ethernet connection bonding them together so you guys can watch this online live. I hope this gave you a little insight to how we're producing our show completely remotely. We hope to see you soon.